So let's talk about uh, fear. Okay, this is a very common thing, and it's totally okay if you are feeling fear, right? This idea of discomfort, everyone tries to run away from it. They're just trying to uh, because they they don't like to to feel that they can't do something, right? Or that whatever they're gonna do is gonna have negative consequences. All right. Um, so first of all, in this class, do not worry about people uh, reacting negatively to your drawings. Okay, trust me when I say this. Most of your classmates cannot draw that well either. Okay, and if they're gonna say something about you, <laughs> your drawing, there's a very, very high chance. There's a very high chance that if you if you ask them to show uh, show you their drawing, they're not gonna want to do it. Okay, usually if someone's gonna be making fun of you, it's because they can't do anything any better, and the only way they can feel good about themselves is by making fun of you, right? So that goes the same for you. If that's that's how your classmates are gonna see you, if you're gonna be acting that way, right? If you're gonna be mis uh, if you're gonna be rude to others who are trying their best, and honestly, that's all everyone in this class is really doing. Okay, so don't worry about anyone thinking your drawing is ugly. Okay, don't worry about anyone thinking, oh, you can't do it. Because in all honesty, everyone is trying their best, including the people who are who you think are going to be rude. Right? So putting that, oh, sorry, putting that aside. All right. Usually the reason we get scared of trying to do something is because our expectations of what we can already do are too high. All right. So if you expect that right now with no art experience or even you know like a few years of art experience if you think that you can paint something um i don't know like the let's say the mona lisa right it's a very popular thing a very popular painting let's say if you think you can paint that right now and you you try it out of course you're going to be disappointed right you haven't practiced enough you haven't learned enough um to actually paint something with that kind of result so it's not fair on you, it's not fair to you, sorry, if you have that unrealistic expectation, right? If and if it's good to want to be able to do that to do that at some point, but if you're not there yet, that's okay. That's totally okay. All right. So what what does that mean for our class? What does that mean for this lesson? Okay, what that means is you need to start small. You need to start with something simple. And then once you get that simple thing, add a little bit to it, make it a little bit harder, and then add a little bit more, right? And slowly, you're gonna slowly, slowly, slowly try to reach that, that goal that you put at the top. So if your goal is to paint the Mona Lisa, right? You need to figure out, okay, where am I on this like scale of things that I need to do, right? Some of you are probably here, and that's totally okay. You have an entire lifetime to figure out how to paint the Mona Lisa, okay? And then you slowly just learn a new skill, learn a new skill, learn a new skill. So now, what is that? What is that skill at the bottom then? What is it that we need to start with? All right, and that what we're going to start with in this class is doodling. Some of you guys may have heard of this before. If you don't know what it is, it's literally drawing whatever you want, anything, literally anything, at on any piece of paper or any surface. Right? Some of you guys draw in class. That's doodling. Um, some of you guys like on the side of your annotation area, you do a little picture or something doodling, right? And it doesn't even have to be anything, right? So if you look at this uh, picture right here, it kind of looks like there's little animals, you know, you see eyes and things like that. But that's not necessarily what defines a doodle. Look over here, what is this? I don't even know, right? And some of you might even be saying, Mr. Xiao, I can't even do this, right? I can't even draw any of these things. Um, so that being, <laughs> that being the case, right? That's okay. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to how to do one method of doodling. And I really and after that one method of doodling, I really 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 encourage you guys to explore more, right? All you have to do right now is worry about can I put my pencil on my paper and make something. Okay? It doesn't have to be beautiful. It doesn't have to be amazing, right? You just have to have a goal in mind. Okay? And the goal that we're going to uh we're going to work towards is something like this, all right? So I just got a piece of paper and I doodled all over it. This might look intimidating right now, but in the next step, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to achieve that type of doodle. 